It's the 12th of August and we're on our way to Londonderry. All the way to Londonderry. Londonderry. Or Derry, if that's what you want to call it. This is St Columns Park and it's on the east side of the River Foyle. Here comes my dinner. Oh, yummy. So you've got chicken in a creamy white sauce with mushrooms, sweet corn, peppers and potato. That's yummy. Mmm. Delicious. Very tasty. <coughs> Simple to do, but it comes out really well. Yeah. So we're currently in London Derry and that wasn't a particularly good night. Uh, we're in a massive, well not massive, we're in a, a car park, a large car park and we positioned ourselves in the corner where it was flat and at 2am last night we had a car pull up right here and there must have been about five or six blokes in it and there was a bit of shouting and argy bargy they didn't sound drunk uh, but they were here for about an hour i would say and they kept coming and going to the car and slamming the doors uh, we were in stealth mode so the roof was down and everything and the front seats were clear and they didn't pay any attention to the van at all so whether they knew we were a camper van and we were inside i've no idea but they didn't pay any attention to us at all anyway so we didn't get a lot of sleep last night and we're learning that car parks aren't the best options for camping anyway this morning we're going to take a walk around the walls of london derry <laughs> The city has had its fair share of the troubles and this is the peace tree and each of the leaves are engraved with hopeful messages from the community. At night it is illuminated in a multitude of colours. This is Ebrington Square and it leads to the Peace Bridge. This statue remembers all the sailors from the Battle of the Atlantic. The Peace Bridge was opened in 2011 as an attempt to bring Catholics and Protestants closer together. This is Ship Key Gate and it's going to be the start and end of our walk. These fountains are in the square behind the Guild Hall. This sign laments weapon systems but I couldn't find out why. The walls are in perfect condition and it makes an excellent tour walking around them. This is Magazine Street and it leads up towards Butcher's Gate. The meeting rooms in this office block gave me a shudder and reminded me of all the pointless meetings I used to have to attend. This is Free Derry Corner and it's down in an area known as the Bogside. The mural remembers Bloody Sunday which happened on the 30th of September 1972. 26 people were shot that day by the British Army and this memorial remembers the 14 who died.
This is the H-Block Hunger Strike Memorial for those who died in the Mays prison. Today, there are still plenty of reminders of the Troubles. There are a huge selection of murals in Northern Ireland, but this one of the Derry Girls is from more peaceful times. And that brings us back to Ship Key Gate, where our tour of the city ends. Later on, we're going to check into a hotel for yeah. a bit of a pamper session. Treat night. <clears throat> yeah, every now and then when we're on the road, uh, we do check into a hotel just so that we can have a shower, uh, have a really comfy big bed, something to eat, uh, you know, a special meal. So um, that's what we'll be doing tonight. Yeah, um, we'll keep you updated. Yep, yeah, we'll see you soon. Our room didn't have air conditioning, so our trusty fans from the van saved the day. We're all buffed up after our night in a hotel. How was that? Oh, great. It's nice to feel all fresh again, and we're all ready to carry on with our travels. OK, let's get let's on the go. go. We had a really comfortable night at the Waterfoot Hotel. Just like the Outer Hebrides, we find the weather in Northern Ireland to be very changeable. We're on our way to the Beemore Stone Circles. So when we get to the stones, we'll park up and have a coffee. And I've bought you some lovely Danish pastry twists with chocolate chips. Time to offload a little bit of rubbish. Some of these little country roads can throw you all over the place. We're up above the clouds here, look. This reminds me of Madeira. Madeira is one of the hilliest places I've ever been to and I spent a good couple of weeks there trying to get used to a manual gearbox again. I bought you these to have with your coffee. Yeah, they look nice. I am absolutely melting. I know everybody else has been having a terrible heat wave back in the south of the year, England. We are getting a bit of it over here now. So we know how you're feeling. They don't allow filming at this site, so I can only show you some photographs. This shot was taken from well outside of the protected site. Little Red Tractor waves to Little Red Camper Van. All the people we've met so far have been really friendly.
This is Cookstown and we're taking a walk up the high street. We've noticed that a lot of towns have very wide high streets. We're driving up to the Ardbo High Cross and it's situated at an old medieval church. Keep an eye on the one on the left. It gives me a traditional Northern Ireland welcome. The cross stands 18 and a half feet tall and is the tallest in Northern Ireland. <laughs> the church was founded in 590 by Saint Coleman. It later became a monastery but was destroyed by fire in the 12th century. This is certainly a beautiful location and very peaceful. We're on the edge of Loch Nee, the largest lake in the United Kingdom. We've moved further down the loch now and we're at Battery Harbour. Looks jolly tasty. Certainly does. Join us next time when we pay a visit to Hillsborough Castle. We take a look at Hillsborough Fort and the lake. The Leganani Donman Tomb. We wild camp in the forest and spend an enjoyable afternoon watching the boats on Loch Erne. <laughs>